Bratz challenge, so I'm going to be transforming myself into a Bratz doll. And I'm a bit late on this one because I am filming this the week before. I film all my videos pretty much a week before I upload them, so that's why I'm usually late to most things. But anyways, let's just get straight into the video. So this is a brat style that I'm going to be transforming into. And I picked this one because I think it had... I thought that, the, uh, that my hair was a similar colour. But like in photos my hair turns to, tends to look brown. So maybe I should pick a brown one. But yeah, I already attempted this yesterday. And this is what it looked like without face tube. And then this is what it looks like with the face tune and change my hair colour. Because in some photos my hair does look more like true to its colour, like in this one. And in other photos it, and in other things like this video right now it looks really dark. But also today I found this other picture that I might do later and upload and do like a recreation, which I think might look better. Um, but so yeah, make sure you check out my Instagram just in case I do do a picture, I mean do a recreation of this one. So yeah. I don't know if I said this already, but I already attempted the other one earlier and put a picture here. Like yesterday, and this is how it turned out. And I don't really like how the inner corner looks. So I'm going to try and change that a bit and make it look more natural. Not really natural, but just like not as strange as it looks there because it looks like my eyes are really wonky and weird. So yeah, let's I'm just going to begin this transformation. Also, you can't see the top that she's wearing. So I'm I put this top on so that you can't see it either when I take a photo or in this video. So yes, let's begin. First, I think I'm going to start off, I already prepped my skin and everything, so I'm going to start off with my eyebrows. Now, hair is quite short, so I think I'm going to try and keep mostly this shape, but then just make my tail shorter. Mm, I need a mirror. So yeah, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. eyebrow kit, and this is quite a warm tone shade, but it's not as warm as her brows. Brows, I don't think. And also, she has green eyes, and I have green eyes, so that's why I picked this one because I think it looked the most like me. And she has my hair was shorter than this, but now that I'm straightened, it looks longer, so it's not bright, it's like not the same anymore, but close enough. Alright, so I'm going to be taking this little brush like I usually do for my eyebrows and taking this homemade side of it, and I am going to be just Making my eyebrow tail a little bit shorter and keeping the rest of my shape pretty much the same, but try and make them quite thin because the eyebrows. The eyebrows, number one, aren't very dark, and number two, they're very small and thin. So let's see how this goes. I think it's better if you just watch instead of me trying to explain. Now that I've done that, I'm 
then going to take this like Halloween makeup we got. It was like in a vampire set. And put a little bit on the back of my hand. It's basically like you could use like a black concealer or like a white something. Oh, my ba the battery is flashing, so I'm going to change it. I'll be right back. The same. I'm going to be taking this Halloween makeup and any like white. You can use the NYX Chocolate Eye Pencils or like anything white really. And I'm going to quickly this up to my eyebrow bone. Just because like, I feel like it can be more of a doll like effect. If there's more like contrast in things. She wants to be really like light at the top, but you still want like the edges to blend into the concealer. This will also just lift your eyebrows up and make your eyelid space look bigger too. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna set my whole eyelid, I'm just gonna set like where that white is with some translucent powder. Any brush will do for this, I'm just gonna use this big fluffy one. Okay, beautiful. Now to start the eyeshadow. So she doesn't have much eyeshadow on, she only has like a little bit of brown in her crease. Pretty much, yep. So I'm going to start by making a new crease and I'm going to take this brown eyeliner pencil and map out where my crease is. Um, and also it doesn't go all, all the way out here, it only ends at a certain spot. You'll see what when I do it. So next thing I'm going to do is take this dark brown shade and go directly on top of that. I'm taking my bronzer from the body shop which is cracked. I'm going to be, to be taking this little brush here and I'm going to be adding the eyeshadow on it now. So I'm going to be taking this above that line but also blending it with the line. Make sure you don't go too close to the eyebrow bone too. Get something like that. Alrighty, I'm happy with that. Now I'm just going to be carving my crease with a bit of this Maybelline concealer. Alrighty, that will do. My eyes look complete, like completely different shades. But it will do. So I'm going to take a tiny bit of this white, a tiny bit, and put that all over the lid. Eyeliner, it doesn't look that great. 
like it looks pretty good, but like it could be better, it could be more straight, so this will just help me even it out a bit. And also I don't know if you can tell, but I did like almost like these little stubby little wings just to make my shapes look more lifted and arm shaped. So yeah, now before I do eyelashes, I'm actually decided that with the eyeliner I'm going to create a few eyelashes. So, yes. Alrighty, so I've done those eyelashes now. Now I'm just going to apply some mascara, but I'm only going to apply it on the, like, outside half of my lashes and I'm using the Maybelline Lash, Lash Sensation. It just adds to like the cat eye effect. Okay. Now that I've done that, I'm going to just move straight onto my face. Now for my face, I'm going to start off by applying some foundation and I'm going to apply the L'Oreal True Match. And I broke the bottle, so this is all I have left that I managed to get out of the bottle. And you want this, you want your base to look as flawless as possible. So I'm going to start by applying it with a brush. Okay, then I'm just going to like go over with the sponge a little bit. Down here. 
And you want it kind of like in a swatch. You don't want it like blended in. Alrighty, that's good. Now I'm going to just brush the bake off. I'm going to just dampen my sponge again and go over my face because I feel like I'm feeling a bit matte. And you know, Barbies are plastic and not completely matte. So I'm going to go over and almost make it slightly more dewy. Okay, now before I move back onto my eyes, I am going to do some highlighting. Now I'm going to be taking my Steel Light Heavens Hue Highlighter. And to make myself look even more plastic, I'm taking a big brush, swirling that around. And I'm going to put that in the middle of my forehead. Oh, that was a lot. Okay, we will be blending that out later. And some on my chin. And some on my cheekbones, not too much. Okay, now I'm going to dampen my sponge again and go back over those highlighted areas. And then I'll do my nose one after because I don't really blend out the nose one. Do I look like a plastic doll yet? Okay, now for the nose. I'm going to be taking this really small like pencil brush, literally drawing a line down. Okay, I'm going to fix this mascara myself and add some bottom eyeliner lashes and I'll be right back to do the lips. Alrighty, I also put some highlighter on my body so I look more plastic and I do not recommend doing the bottom lashes, I feel like it will ruin the look. Now for the lips, the best part. I'm going to start by taking this eyeliner because I don't have a dark brown eyeliner and I'm going to outline it where my lips are going to be. Now I've already got quite big lips so it's quite easy for me but yeah. Okay now for the lipstick it's like a I don't know what color it's kind of purpley kind of ready so I think I'm gonna mix I'm gonna start out with this purple one and maybe put a bit of the red in the center. I think that color looks pretty similar. Do I look like a Um, so right now I am going to be taking a tiny bit of this colour just to add some dimension and make the lips look even fuller, right in the centre. Just like that. My eyes are a bit messy so I'm going to try and clean up the black a bit and I'll be right back to, and I'm also going to do my hair up and reveal the finished look. Alrighty, so this is the finished look. So here's what the brat style looks like and here's what I look like. Thank you guys so much for watching. But don't forget to go like this picture on my Instagram of this look that I've done today, done today. And also keep an eye out just in case I do that other brat storm. And don't forget to give this big thumbs up, subscribe if you enjoy this video, and yeah. Oh, and click that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload. And thank you guys again so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!